I was kind of cruising around Portland trying to find a building. I was wanting to do something kind of cool, something that was like my own, and I stumbled across this place, and this place is crazy. It's like from the 1920s. Um, it was redone in the late 40s, and when I walked into the building, I fell in love with it, and it's a little tiny shithole. I got all the permits, got my um, my plans, my architectural plans and stuff, and, and we just started cracking the cement and, and jackhammering the shit out of this place, and, and basically we're gonna turn it into a little saloon and it's gonna be called Cat's Paw. Cat's Paw Saloon. It was just using all my friends for the construction. So I used like Sage and a bunch of guys from Burnside to help me with the concrete. And on and on, every other, every other guy I used was somebody that had to do with skating, you know? Everybody that comes to town comes through here. You know, Costin was over here the other day, didn't even call me, he just showed up, texted me a photo of himself outside the bar. <laughs> but it's just rad that the skate community, you know, with open arms just fucking absorbed me here. It's fucking rad. Good place. So I wanted the blazer and this is the low top that's, that Grant designed, and it's a full skate shoe, it's fucking awesome. This represents the plies in a skateboard, because then we incorporated some plies in the tables here of boards, and um, we kind of wanted that to kind of have a hit on the shoe that was kind of the same as the taps as well as the tables. When we do stuff with other companies and we're doing something with Nike, I always think I want to make sure that the rider is involved in it, because that's the key. Grant Taylor's the, the natural one to do it. Like, and when he comes to town, like he makes his way up here too. So it was cool. We were just at Burnside the other day and he was just fucking murdering it. Head down the